Praise the Lord and blessed be the name of the Lord God Most High, the King of all kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah, precious saints of the living God. The Lord God Almighty bless you all this morning. Thanks be to God Almighty who was and is and is to come and who reigns forevermore. Our resurrected Lord and King. Hallelujah. The God of all flesh, the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the great I am, the I am that I am, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and of the God of Jacob. Blessed be his name, and to him shall all flesh come, and to him shall the gathering of his people be. I bless God for your lives this morning. And I praise God for his goodness and for his mercies. Hallelujah. Uh, once again, it's Pastor Samuel from House of Prayer for All Nations Ministries and Time Revival Prayer City. The Lord bless you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This morning, we are grateful that God has given us life once again through his grace and through his mercies. And this morning, by the grace of God, I'm connecting with you on... Um, our global morning glory word of exaltation encounter hour wherever you are this morning i pray that may the holy spirit come upon you and may the presence of the lord uh, touch you wherever you are in the name of jesus as i minister uh, the word of the lord unto you this morning in the name of jesus the lord bless you and bless you and exalt you in jesus mighty name praise be to god forevermore hallelujah let's have a word of prayer Father, in the name of Jesus, this morning we give you praise and honor and glory once again for you are the king of all kings, our resurrected uh, risen king. And we bless you for uh, your grace and your mercies upon our lives this morning, Father, as you have given us grace and life and abundant life in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Father, we thank you for this privilege and this opportunity. And I ask that this morning, Father, as we have gather together before your presence to hear your word uh, and to receive from you let your word bring us hope let your word bring us healing deliverance salvation emancipation let your word cause us to enter into our divine purpose and our divine manifestation in the name of jesus i decree that as your word comes forth let the sick be healed let the oppressed be set free and father let the captives be loose and let divine expectation and releases, breakthroughs and wonders and miracles be manifested through the power and the preaching and the declaration of your word. I decree that by the end of this encounter, many lives will be touched, transformed, revived, empowered and uplifted to your glory. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise be to God forevermore, people of God. The Lord bless you all in the name of Jesus. This morning, I continue the message on resurrection power and the subtitle is called, You Shall Be Exalted. You Shall Be Exalted. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Our scripture for today is found in the book of Philippians chapter number 2, reading from the verse number, reading from the verse number, 9 to the 10 verse hallelujah praise be to god forevermore philippians chapter number 2 reading from the ninth verse to the 10th verse hallelujah you shall be exalted you shall be exalted hallelujah the reason why you will be exalted is because jesus rose from the dead and when jesus rose from the dead he was highly exalted by his father so the Bible says that when Jesus died, he humbled himself unto death and he became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. And because of his obedience and his humility unto God by, by redeeming mankind unto God the Father and reconciling us back to God, his death and his humility and his obedience brought him to the place of highness, brought him to the place of exaltation. And that is why you and I, through the resurrection, as Jesus resurrected from the dead, he was highly exalted. The Bible says that he was exalted to the place of highness. God highly exalted him 
and he was exalted far above the heavens and the earth and that is why you and i also will be exalted when jesus exalted we were also exalted because when he died he died with our sins and when he exalted he exalted together with us i prophesy upon your life this morning that you shall be exalted you will be exalted everything about your life will be exalted your business will be exalted the work of your hands will be exalted will be elevated you will be exalted and be promoted be elevated in your job in the work of your hands your finances your health your marriage the life of your children your dreams your aspirations and everything that is embedded in your spiritual womb it shall be exalted you will be exalted you will be lifted on high because of the resurrection power of jesus hallelujah and so one of the things that the resurrection power of jesus did for us as believers is that he placed us to our place of exaltation. The resurrection power that resurrected and lifted Jesus from the grave exalted Jesus. And so in the book of Philippians chapter 2 verse 9, the Bible says, Wherefore God have highly exalted him. Wherefore God have highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Verse 10. That at the mention of his name, every knee should bow of things in heaven, of things in earth, and of things under the earth. Hallelujah. Praise be to God forevermore. So this is what happened. God highly exalted Jesus. <coughs> and that is why you will be exalted. God is about to exalt you and I. Because Christ Jesus was exalted. May you be exalted in the name of the Lord Jesus. So the Bible says that God highly exalted him. And giving him a name that is above every name. His exaltation brought him above everything. The Bible says that, that at the mention of his name. Every knee should bow. Of things in heaven, on earth and under the earth. So God lifted him and exalted him in three levels. In heaven, on earth, and under the earth. You and I, we are being lifted. We are being lifted on three levels. We are being lifted to the heavens. We are being lifted above the earth. And we are being lifted above the things beneath the earth. I pray and prophesy upon your life. That in this season of your life, you will experience the exaltation of God. You will experience the, the exaltational power of God in every area of your life. That is what the resurrection did for us. Resurrection brings upliftment. Resurrection brings empowerment. Resurrection brings elevation. Resurrection brings exaltation. Resurrection brings promotion. Resurrection brings upliftment. In the name of Jesus. I see exaltations, liftings, and empowerment being released upon you in the name of Jesus. May the power of exaltation be released upon you. Receive this grace now. Receive this power now in the name of Jesus. So the Bible says in the verse 10 that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. You see, that his liftings gave him a high a name that is higher than any other thing. By the resurrection power, God has lifted you and I. That everything that comes our way, we will overcome it. I pray and prophesy upon your life that you will overcome adversity. You will overcome pain. You will overcome every sickness. You will overcome reproach. You will overcome setback. You will overcome uh, limitation. You will overcome curses. You will overcome disappointment. You will overcome failure. You will overcome rejection. In the name of Jesus, anything that is not supposed to be in your life, by the power of exhortation, by the power that God gave to Jesus through resurrection, and he was highly exalted, may the power of exhortation and upliftment be released upon you that you will overcome every situation of your life in the name of the Lord Jesus. You 
you are being exalted above every situation that comes your way every power that comes your way you are being exalted above that power because of the resurrection power of jesus so the bible says that that at the name of jesus every knee should bow i decree over your life that by your appearance by the power that god has given us through resurrection power every need that everything that comes our way will bow I decree that sickness will bow. I decree that infirmities will bow. I decree that bondages will bow. I decree that demons will bow when they see you. I decree in your life uh, that your enemies will bow when they see you. Everything about your life will bow. Everything that is adverse to your life will bow. Will bow because of the resurrection power of Jesus and because of the liftings and the exaltation and the empowerment that God is giving to you and I through the power of the name of Jesus and through the resurrection power and grace uh, everything about your life that is negative will bow will bow will bow I decree that generational curses is bowing in your life I decree that uh, marital problems are bowing in the name of Jesus uh, lift up your voice and pray everything that you think uh, ah, is above you is bowing uh, I decree over your life that your exams uh, that you are finding difficult in that exams uh, that whenever it is time for you to write that exams uh, that fear and panic and intimidation comes upon you uh, this season in this season and in this time around uh, that fear and that intimidation and panic uh, is bowing is bowing is bowing you are being lifted above that fear you are being lifted above that intimidation you are being lifted above that activity of the enemy in the name of jesus you are rising up god is elevating you and i see you being promoted i see you being lifted i see you being lifted i see you being lifted in the name of the lord jesus hallelujah so the Bible says that, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven, on earth and under the earth. Everything about your life, anything that has a name will bow. That has a name that is contrary and adverse to your life. It will bow, it will bow, it will bow, it will bow in the name of Jesus. I speak and I decree by the resurrection power of Jesus into your life uh, that every negative uh, circumstances in your life will bow, bow bow in the name of jesus bow in the name of jesus receive the power to overcome every adversity of your life through the resurrection power of jesus for you have been exalted by the grace of the resurrection of jesus christ in jesus precious name i pray with thanksgiving amen and amen hallelujah praise be to god forevermore heavenly father thank you this morning for the power and the audacity of your word that you have given us revelation through the resurrection power that we are exalted just as christ is also exalted as christ exalted from uh, uh, resurrected from the dead he was highly exalted and given a name that is above every other name jesus christ the son of the living god i pray that at the mention of the name of jesus through the resurrection power father let everything in our lives that is contrary to the will of god in our lives let it bow by the power of the resurrection let sicknesses bow let infirmities bow let diseases bow let frustration bow let depression bow let every power of suppression and oppression bow in the name of jesus i decree uh, let yokes bow let bondages bow let demon spirits bow let principality is bow ah, in the name of Jesus let every words of the enemy bow in the name of Jesus out of our lives by the resurrection power and we are lifted because as we are lifted everything bows I decree in the name of Jesus that your people are receiving the power and the elevation of the resurrection power of exaltation in every area of their lives i pray and prophesy that miracles are are bound to happen in their lives because they have been uplifted exalted and promoted and elevated by the power of the resurrection grace i decree in the name of jesus that father cause your people to be elevated above their enemies and above every circumstances that comes their way because they have received the power of exaltation through the resurrection power 
I pray and prophesy that victory and overcoming power and exhortation has been released upon your people. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Thank you, Father, for answered prayer. In Jesus, Yeshua's name, I pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise be to God forever. People of God, the Lord bless you all this hour. I bless God for your life. Come to the place of revelation knowledge in Christ Jesus. Knowing that by the resurrection power of Jesus, we have also been exalted, uplifted in every area of our life. Receive the exaltational grace and power of the Lord Jesus Christ through the resurrection power. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. God richly bless you all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Shalom. Peace from God the Father. Hallelujah. Once again, it's Pastor Samuel from House of Prayer for All Nations Ministries End Time Revival Prayer City. The Lord bless you all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah.